good afternoon. I'm Raylene Ramsey. This is your afternoon news fix for Monday the 15th of January. An Auckland tenant who found a neighbour hiding in his ceiling space has been awarded compensation. Felino Turner reported 25 incidents to landlords, including a washing machine being stolen, neighbours crowding him as Uber Eats arrived, peering through his windows and looking into his letterbox. Danica McLean has more. Turner bought security items like cameras and letterbox locks. The Tenancy Tribunal has found Landlord Central West Property Management didn't do enough to ensure his peace, comfort and privacy. It's been ordered to reimburse Turner for his purchases and compensate him for $25 a week off his rent for the period covered. Fashion and lifestyle shopping website The Iconic has been hacked. Payment details have not been stolen, but customers with credit cards saved to their Iconic account could be at risk of direct purchases made through the website. Cybersecurity expert Alistair Miller says the Iconic's payment system doesn't recheck who's actually making the purchases. So it basically assumed that if you've logged in, you're you, so I can use your stored credit card as much as you want. That is not so common nowadays, but it's often used in sort of websites who are a bit lax on security. Auckland's Eastern Line is up and running today after nine months of rail upgrades. Stations closed between Otahuhu and Waitamata late March for the second stage of the network rebuild. Kiwi Rail says it was a huge undertaking. About 130 staff worked on replacing aged rock foundations and worn parts and improving drainage. Kiwi Rail says the repairs will improve safety. The next stage will work on the western line between Newmarket and New Lynn. A boat missing from the Coromandel for close to two weeks has washed up ashore. Will Franson, the owner of the Betty G, was rescued after nearly 24 hours in the water without a life jacket. The boat's been missing since he fell overboard on a solo fishing trip off Whangamata. Will's friend Peter Wikes told Coromandel FM Franson will be over the moon about it. He's been really worried about us. All of his gear, all his fishing gear, everything he's got is on that little boat at the moment. Absolutely delighted. A swimming ban's been lifted for parts of Wellington Harbour with earlier faecal contamination down to a safe level. Popular swim spots on the waterfront had no swim warnings over the weekend but new tests have shown safe levels. The City Council's Penny Fairbrother says the pollution probably came from flocks of seabirds defecating. This result wasn't related to rainfall or any known infrastructure problem. Now to sport headlines and Kane Williamson's almost certain to be kept on ice for the remainder of the T20 series against Pakistan with a hamstring niggle. Game three of five, which Williamson was due to miss anyway, is on Wednesday in Dunedin. Millie Kerr has starred once again for Wellington as they claimed an eight-wicket victory over Northern Brave and direct entry to the final in the Women's Super Smash 2020. Deus B Women's Classic winner Coco Goff has easily navigated her opening match at the Australian Tennis Open, as has Auckland runner-up Alina Svitolina. I'm Raylene Ramsey and that is your latest news fix. We'll be back with the next update tomorrow morning from the News Talk ZB newsroom.